351 against him this season. We are underway with a ground ball base hit off the bat of Este Uri Ruiz. Ruiz leads off with a first pitch single. Here's Ryan Noda. Noda around to bunt. Bunts it very well down the third baseline. And two batters in. The A's are off and racing with back to back base hits. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Brandon Belak as he gets Rooker for the first out of the inning. Didn't miss by much, but you heard Brennan Miller say ball four, so that'll load up the bases with a four pitch walk. Here with the bases loaded in a 3 2 count. Swing and a miss. Belak gets him. Lummer mentioned that changeup has been working well. That's the second out of the inning. Got him. Brandon Belak strikes out three. Thumb on a pitch in the World Baseball Classic playing for Team Venezuela against the U.S. And he goes out to the first pitch and grounds it on one big hop to the third baseman Peterson. Ace Peterson makes the play one pitch one out and still a huge ovation. Five and struck out five. Bregman sends one high in the air to right field playable for Ramon Laureano. He will put it away for the second out. Jordan sends one on the line to left field and it's played by J.J. Blade with a great catch, made a leaping catch going up for that ball. Nice little 921 OPS last year, third best in the American League. Brandon Belak gets one on the ground off the bat of Jace Peterson, one pitch, one out. The frustrating part about it because he would be on these hitting streaks and he'd blow out. Who wants this? That is bad communication with the new second baseman. Wow. And the rookie shortstop. Did that just happen? That really happened. This one on the ground towards Bregman. He'll go to Altuve for one, and the turn in time for the double play. Start of the season. His team is five and three during his previous eight starts. This one a great diving stop by Elendis Diaz, and Jose Abreu getting down the line, beating the throw. Forces caps today, and they also have the stirrups and other items that are four pitches in the first. This one on the ground towards the right side, played by Diaz. He'll go to second. No chance to get the runner trying to score now as Abreu, and he's going to make it. Speed kills. Jose Abreu saw that ball get away from Ryan Noda, and he comes home on an attempted double play ground ball that got away from Noda. There goes the runner. He had a good jump, and Pena will be. Ooh, what a throw. Jay Langoliers. Has the strongest arm in the major leagues behind the plate. He showed it off right there as he put one on the money against Jeremy Pena. He's traded Sean Murphy is right behind them. This one slowly hit towards the lead miss. Diaz will make this play in time. And that'll do it for the Astros in the second. But they score a run. A bit to right-handed hitters already in this game. This one towards the middle. Who wants this one? Pena will take it. But with Ruiz running, even if Pena makes the throw, I'm not sure he gets him. Playing 12 innings that night. This one hit high in the air, popped up. Alex Bregman and Jeremy Pena converge. It will be Bregman who stays with it. Fewer runs for the Tigers. There goes Ruiz, swing and a miss. The throw by Maldonado is on the third base side of the bag. Ruiz has his 21st steal of the year in 24 attempts. Swing and a miss. Belak getting Rooker for the second time. Brandon has four strikeouts now after striking out three in the first inning. One two pitch hit in the air to right center field. That could be trouble. And that is down for a hit up against the wall. Ruiz will score. Langoliers to second. We're tied at one. Shea Langoliers drives in his 21st run of the year. Swing and a miss. He gets Blade for the second time. Belak has struck out five, but the A's had a run in the inning on a couple of hits. We're tied at one. On that over the last 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> Three two pitch is just a little low below the zone. Tonight, Martin Maldonado, the batter, grounds one up the middle. Marty has the base hit. Waldenchuk couldn't flag it down. Had he been able to make the grab, it could have been a double play, but once it got by him, Astros had runners on first and second. Ground ball towards short. Diaz will play it to second for one. Altuve will be out at second base. 
They turn the double play. On the play, Myers moves to third. And Bregman goes down on strikes. That'll do it for the Astros in the third. On surgery. On two pitch, Belak picks up strikeout number six. Brandon Belak has matched his career high with a half dozen strikeouts. Seeing that smiling face back on an Astros mound sometime at 24. This ball towards the right side. Abreu will flip it to Belak. He covers ahead of Jace Peterson, and there's two outs here in the fourth. Third base and shortstop mostly this year, but he's played some second base at DH as well. Belak strikes out a lead miss. That's a new career high for Brandon Belak. That's his seventh strikeout. 1,098. Opponents OPS. Jordan sends one to deep center field all the way back Ruiz. He will watch this one go. No, it's in play. Jordan with a double. That looked like it went off the back wall, but it went off the wall instead. That'll be a double for Jordan Alvarez to straightaway center field. That's a walk. Three innings in a row. The Astros have started with zone control has been better than ever. He rips that one to right field. That'll be down and that'll score Jordan Alvarez. Jose Abreu heads to third. Tucker to second. Astros take a two to one lead. Swing and a miss. He got him on that change up away. Pena strikes out. And he picked up the outside edge for a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts with the infield back. Inside ball four. Waldachuk not giving Myers anything to hit in that A-B. A four-pitch walk. Got Jared Koenig. This ball hit pretty well to left field. Back goes Blade, and he makes a diving catch that saves three runs. Blade lays out and makes a phenomenal play in the gap in left center field. Pitch count of the season is 87. And he walks the leadoff hitter here to start the fifth. Handed hitters down and in. Just missed the outside edge. That'll be back to back walks allowed to start the fifth inning. Belak. Strike three called. Perfect pitch. Bottom of the zone on the inside corner. Change up down and in. Swing and a miss. The changeup keeps working for Brandon Belak. If it's not broke, broken, don't fix it. He Ground ball towards the hole. Pena backhand. Throws the third. Bregman makes the tag. He's out. Bregman couldn't find the bag, so he made the tag instead. Those baseballs down and in. He can turn and burn on some of those pitches. He's tried to right there. Altuve hits his third ground ball tonight. A let Miss Diaz with a bounce throw in there. And Waldachuk, nearing 80 pitches on the night, breaks the bat of Bregman as he pops this one up on the infield. Chase Peterson will put it away. And Jordan, a 3 0 green light, pops one up. On the infield, playable. Shea Langelier as the catcher puts it away for the final out of the inning. Career high nine tonight, eclipsing his major league best by three. This one high in the air to center field. Jake Myers doesn't have to move very far. One out in the sixth. Stellar lately. This ball sent high in the air to right field, playable for Kyle Tucker. Loriano out number two. Right. One two pitch, a little tapper. Who's going to make this play? Maton gives way to Maldonado, and his play not in time. It was right in between the two, and would have been tough for either one. And got under this one, popped it up. Alex Bregman down the line in third, and Phil Maton has a nice inning again. Gave up that little. They kept the lefty Waldachuk in, although they have the former Astro, even though it was for a short amount of time. And UH Cougar Austin Pruitt. Warming up as Abreu draws a four pitch walk. Last time up, gave the Astros a lead. Tucker sends one high, sends one deep, all the way back in right field. That ball's gone. <laughs> Kyle Tucker hits home run number seven on the year, and the Astros now lead four to one. Have yourself a night, King Tuck. RBI double in the previous at bat. This hit bat a two run bomb into the Kings court out there in right field. They are all crowned and witnessing a majestic home run.
Chuck with a three RBI night now up to 32 on the year. And all the King Tuck fans out there enjoying this evening. Yeah, and in his career too. Last year, all the home runs allowed were just grabbed at his left hamstring after throwing that last pitch. Uh oh. So they had bullpen action going, but Walter Chuck throwing his 90th, now 91st pitch of the night may have done something on that delivery. This is that pitch. Keep your eye on the left leg of Walter Chuck. Finishes. Can't see it from there, but from behind home plate, he could he grab behind that left hamstring. Might be a better look at it. It's going to be the end of his night. They're going to take him out in the middle of this count against Jeremy Pena. Well, Ken Waldachuk will leave here with a count of one and two against Pena. Big swing in this inning for King Tuck. So he gets a curveball down out of the zone and rips it into right field. 361 foot home run. Did a great job of staying on that breaking ball and extending through it to get that home run. Two run shot giving him three RBIs on the game. Putting the Astros up four to one after that swing and also knocking Walter Chuck out of the game. Tuck extra innings did not allow a run. With the extra runner on second base, he shut out the Diamondbacks and gave them a chance to walk it off in the bottom of the 12th. Got a lot of information. He's way better than I am. But it hasn't happened a lot. Oh, the Who's house? It's Corey Jolt's house. Pruitt wins a little bit of the battle because he shattered his bat, but Jolt's gets. Jolt's is hitting a thousand off him. <laughs> yes, he is. On the ground, that's a base hit. Jake Myers on base for a third straight time. Four in a row if you go back to his home run on Wednesday night. Five in a row if you go back to his seventh inning single. 3-2 pitch, Maldi lays off. That'll be a walk, and that'll be a bases loaded situation for Jose Altuve in his first game back. Pop up, shallow center. Bases are loaded, so the infield fly rule will be in effect. Caught by Diaz. That'll be the second out of the inning. Got under this one and popped it up. Astros are going to strand the bases loaded here. So Pruitt doesn't give it up any runs, but the Astros scored two against the starter Ken Waldachuk and lead this game four to one. Jordan Diaz, the second baseman, is grounded into a double play and drawn a walk and punches this one towards the middle. Altuve will backhand, make the play. His throw is wide, and Diaz is going to reach. Twice. This ball hit pretty hard to right, but playable right at Kyle Tucker. So Ruiz lines out, one away here in the seventh. There goes the runner. The pitch is wide. The throw is in time. Martin Maldonado guns down Jordan Diaz. All four just off the edge. Tough pitch to take, but it looked like a pretty good call by Miller. Just missed the outside corner. There goes the runner. The pitch is up. Maldi's got a chance to throw out two. Altuve was behind the bag there. And Noda picks up his second steal. Swing and a miss. Montero powers by a fastball to Brent Rooker. That will do it for the A's in the seventh. I'll do it. Right through the second short hole, closer to the second baseman, Jordan Diaz. Jordan Alvarez, a base hit to start the seventh. Popped into shallow right, long run for Loriano. Will he get there? Yes, he does. Sliding catch. Jordan has to scamper back to the bag. Abreu retired for the first out of the seventh. They have now been tied by the Pirates, who won today while the Brewers lost. That ball in the center field. Tucker retired for the first time for the second out. 1 0 pitch hit high in the air, pretty deep to left field. Lede in front of the out of town scoreboard will put it away for the final out of the inning. Ruiz back in the third inning. Aguilera's pops this one way up in the air. Jeremy Pena backs up. Corey Jolks comes in. It'll be Pena who takes charge for the first out of the eighth. 
ball hit hard into center field. Myers a good jump. Jake Myers runs that down in the left center field gap for out number two. She went up in that Cubs series. He doesn't get a whip here, but he gets a ground ball right at Jeremy Payne, and that will do it for the A's in the eighth. One, two, three, and eight for Brian Abreu. Has faced the UH Cougar when Jolks faced Austin Pruitt. 99. How about the arm? Lusik Ursic. That ball hit to left field, hit pretty well near the wall as Blade jumps up and can't make the play. Jake Myers into second base standing. He's on base for a sixth consecutive time. We did, although the Astros lead four to one with nine hits in the game. Could be a tough play for Loriano. It's near the crowd and it's caught by oh, Noda. Wow. Noda came out of nowhere. I thought that was Loriano's ball. And Loriano peeled off and Noda made the catch. Up and in. That gets away. That'll allow Myers to go to third. Jake's thinking about coming home, but he held up. There is a line drive base hit into left field. Astros add to their lead. It's now five to one. Bregman on the board with his first hit of the night. Hit number 10 for the Astros. It's going to feel good for Bregman. Hitting streak against Oakland here at Minute Maid Park. Goes back a couple of years. But he grounds out here to end the inning. So we should see Presley. On the ground, Presley snags it right back at him. Makes the play to Abreu. And now Presley. That one hit hard. That'll be a base hit. Elendis Diaz has two hits in his return to Minute Maid Park. He is two for four and a one-out base runner in the ninth inning. Kemp goes after the first pitch and sends it high in the air to right center. Both Myers and Tucker want it. Myers takes charge. And there's two away in the ninth inning. Ground ball right side. Jose Altuve is there in his first night back. He makes the play to end the game. Ryan Presley closes the door in the ninth inning. The Astros win 5-1. to one. That's a perfect 4-0 homestand so far, Blummer, in a season-high five-game winning streak. Just keep it rolling. That's exactly what you've got to do against these teams. They took care of business against the Cubs. Now it's time to take care of business against the Oakland Athletics. They got nine strikeouts from Brandon Belak. The bullpen came in and shut things down. It's nice to have Jose Altuve back in that lineup as he settles in. There's other guys that can take care of business tonight. It was Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker driving in three of the five runs tonight. It'll be a fun post-game show tonight. Kevin Eschenfelder will be your host alongside Mike Stanton and Brian Bogusevic. Julia Morales, as always, will be gathering interviews on the field in the clubhouse. We will hear from Dusty Baker, amongst others. 5-1 win.